I want to, uh, let's do the G minor funk. Yeah, it's the funk, <laughs> Colombian funk. <laughs> Can you play in G minor? Yes, we're going to do funk in G minor because it's related to B flat, which is our favorite key. <laughs> and I can play in all keys. <laughs> <laughs> but we are in the key of the moment. Yes. <laughs> in the key of the moment, a perfect description of the band Open Hands and the music they create. I'll just play the groove and I'll just stop it. Okay. And then we can do one with a, with a chord on it too. He has, that way he has a stop and he has a chord, so it's whichever way for his talking. Yeah. For this session, no music has been written. No rehearsals held. The band does pick a key. And then, and then four bars, and then we start to cycle again. So it's eight, turn around, four bars. Eight, turn around, four bars. And they reach a loose agreement on who will take the lead when and for how long. We will do eight bars with Bill, then eight and 16 with bass and Bill. <laughs> Can you count to 16? <laughs> no, that's why all the songs are in four. <laughs> <laughs> will this work? Can these guys instantly create something out of nothing? If so, you might be tempted to call it spontaneous musical combustion. But in reality, the music you're about to hear was a lifetime in the making. Four guys born in different cultures, raised in different environments, but united by a love of music. Bill Maxwell was from Oklahoma. I remember that I learned how to read music before I learned how to read words. Abraham Laboriel is from Mexico. My father says to me that I was two years old and he remembers me standing in front of the radio, conducting the radio, and I had never seen anybody conduct anything, and he says that, I, that he just could not remove me away from the radio, so that he knew that I was going to be a musician. Justo Amario is from Colombia. The first thing that I remember uh, that I can, uh, when I was a baby is music. I guess I was, I don't know, six months old, one year old, music. So since then, I, I've been in love with music. Greg Matheson is from Southern California. I was, you know, nine, nine, ten years old. I took uh, piano lessons and had to take piano lessons, and I hated it. I wanted to go out and play baseball with everybody. My mom made me practice an hour a day, and there was a little clock, and when she walked out of the room, I'd move it up so that it was only 45 minutes. Today, Open Hands is in the studio recording music for the radio show National Geographic Weekend. Their only instructions are to play a variety of styles and somehow incorporate the famous geographic theme. But with no music, how does each guy know what the others are going to do? It's just like a, a football team or a basketball team that knows each other so well that you can do spontaneous things and it's like it's worked out. It's not really worked out, we just, we're a band. I know what Abraham's going to do, I think, before he does, and I, I'm sure they know what I'm going to do because I don't do that much. They did it, including ending together on the National right. Geographic theme. So, boy, uh, Bill, if you're slating in there, this, this is uh, National Geographic gospel. For a gospel-flavored version, Open Hands opts to both begin and end with the geographic hook. Again, there's no written music, but this time they do give it 20 seconds of rehearsal. A one, two, three, four. Let's practice that phrase.
The Gospel According to National Geographic is recorded the same way Open Hands recorded their own CD, live, direct to high resolution digital two track at Bill Shanae's North Hollywood, California studio. This might come as a surprise to some music fans, but many of their favorite groups don't have the skills, and even fewer have the courage to do this. With Direct to Digital, whatever the band plays is what you get. There are no overdubs, no coming in later to add a part or take away a mistake. It gives the music an edge and excitement, a feeling of being alive. do recordings like this that are directed to track, you are capturing really those moments in a way that is, cannot be altered. It makes for honestly much better music, much more honest music. Whatever we were feeling and the way we felt it is the way that it's going to remain. Bill Cheney, back in the prehistoric vinyl age of records, pioneered direct-to-disc recordings that would leave audio files drooling. His new two-track technique digitally recaptures that same quality. But again, this type of recording puts pressure on the band because now everyone will hear even more clearly exactly what they play, warts and all. I, at the beginning I said, oh, man, what happened if I miss a note? How, we're not gonna fix it, you know? How can we fix it? <laughs> but then I said, no, that's it, you know? If I miss a note, that's it, you know? That's the way it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> so hopefully, you know, people will hear it say, who still didn't miss that many notes? <laughs> 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 ¶¶ 